How can a Linux kernel be so small? An ordinary stable 3 kernel is about 70 MB now. But there are little Linux distributions of 30 to 10 MB with software and other stuff running out of the box. How can the Linux kernel be so small in these distros? Can stripping down only unneeded modules and drivers dramatically reduce the size? What else is done to reduce the kernel size? Yes. If you strip them down, compile only modules for the things that you actually need. Optimize the kernel for size, E, OS. Compress the kernel, such as XE. These options are all available in the standard kernel and you can do this at the configuration step. You don't need any kind of special tool. Using those three things will result in such a small kernel. You can make even smaller ones, for a targeted system. Like I know my PC, I know my stuff. So I'll just compile what I need. Like my own SATA drivers, a driver for USB, etc. nothing else. No webcam, no old iDrives, nothing. The bigger ones you encounter are the whole kernel. They are compiled with the most generic options to be able to run on most hardware without issues and they contain almost every driver available as modules. These modules don't make the kernel slower speed-wise as the modules are loaded on demand. There are three states for modules at the configuration stage. Won't get compiled, won't be part of your kernel. M, will be compiled as a module. You can mod probe it, or your system will auto-load it when it's needed. Depends on the system, userland. X, it'll be compiled into the kernel and will be present, always. Distros with small but still generic kernel. Tiny Core Linux, Micro Core Linux, 12 MB Linux GUI Desktop, Live, Frugal, Extendable. Puppy Linux Community Home, Getting Started. Early Linux distributions such as Tom's Root Boot, MyLinux, Diet Router, the now defunct, Loaf and many others now departed, all fit a working Linux system on one or two 1.44 MB diskettes. The Linux kernel has grown but it is modular, kernel modules are loaded as needed. Thus it is still possible to produce a Linux distribution with a very small footprint. See, Kernel Size Tuning Guide, illinux.org. If you read linux underscore tiny dot pdf you will see this. The default kernel configuration is configured to support as many hardware as possible. A non-stripped kernel with default configuration resulted in a size of 1,897,996 kilobits, including kernel plus modules. When stripping many unnecessary drivers and options, why would I need a HP module if I own a Clevo notebook? It resulted in a size of 892,892 kilobits, which is a size reduction of 53% compared to the stock kernel. When installing the kernel modules, append the install underscore mod underscore strip equals one option. This will strip all debugging symbols and reduce the size by 92% for me, from 892,892 kilobits to 69,356 kilobits. Note this will only affect modules to be installed and not the kernel, when the news itself. From documentation slash build slash build dot text.
Most major distros configure their kernels with maximum hardware support so it will work out of the box with most computers and anything you plug in later on. They also use an anitride system which is not needed in most cases. There are also options in the kernel configuration that make the build process optimized for size, and a better, though slower, compression method can be selected as well. Lastly, if you are looking at the size of the kernel source code, keep in mind that it also includes support for several architectures beyond x86 slash m64, network protocols, file systems, and other features that you'll probably never use and that can be disabled. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.